Well, hi there, this is Bill Prankard and I've got great news for you. You know, it's hard to believe, but it was 50 years ago, 5-0, that uh, I left a little community of Beechburg, Ontario in the Ottawa Valley and traveled with a wonderful group of people on a bus 12 hours to Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania to be in a service that Catherine Coleman conducted. Little did I know that that was a divine appointment that I would have an encounter with Holy Spirit that would change my life. And uh, many of you have heard this story, but uh, uh, I obviously received an amazing impartation of anointing, healing anointing that changed everything. And we're so thankful for the last 50 years what God has done across Canada, across the Arctic, and throughout the world. So this is 50 years. This is Jubilee time. And because it was in March of 1972 that uh, I traveled there. And I've got good news for you today. Um, it's Jubilee time. I want to I wanna read you this. Uh, this is from Leviticus 25. This is where we get the whole thing of Jubilee. Then you shall cause the trumpet of the Jubilee to sound on the 10th day of the seventh month on the Day of Atonement, you shall make the trumpet to sound throughout all your land. You shall consecrate the 50th year and proclaim liberty, freedom throughout all the land to all its inhabitants. It shall be a jubilee for you. And each of you shall return to his possession. Things that have been taken will be returned. Each of you shall return to his family. Families are going to come back together. Prodigals are coming back together. The 50th year shall be a jubilee to you. In it you shall neither sow or reap that grows on its own accord, nor gather the grapes of your untended vines. It's jubilee. It shall be holy to you, and you shall eat its produce from the fields." So every 50 years, this is amazing, and this was what Israel um, lived for. You know, uh, they waited for this because at the end of 50 years, at, in the 50th year, Jubilee year, if they had debts, the debts were canceled, mortgages were canceled. If they'd lost land, had been taken from them, it'd be restored. If they'd lost possessions, be restored. Uh, and many times they had to... Uh, Give their, if they didn't pay their bills, their kids would be taken as slaves, really. Their children be, would be restored. And so this was a big celebration. Every 50 years, they got a brand new start. And we think, wow, I'd like to have Jubilee. <laughs> I'd like to, have, well, here's the good news. I, I'm reading from uh, Luke chapter 4. Jesus was in Nazareth, and he reads the scripture from Isaiah. And he describes Jubilee. He says, the spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. To, um, he has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, recovering of sight to the blind, to set at liberty those who are oppressed, and to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord. Then he closed the book, gave it back to the attendant, and sat down, and before everybody, he said, today this scripture is fulfilled in your hearing. So Jesus described Jubilee, time of restoration, time of everything coming back. And, um, and as I said, it was every 50 years, so they had to wait 50 years. But then Jesus made this amazing announcement, and this is the good news for you and I. He says, today, this scripture is fulfilled in your hearing. He said, where I am, it's Jubilee time. The great announcement was that you don't have to wait 50 years. You don't have to wait till next month or the end of the year. You don't have to wait for this or that. I think so often, you know, when we're expecting miracles and believing God for things, we, we think, well, you know, when this happens, that happens. Jesus said, where I am, it's Jubilee time. And so I can't think of any better news for you and I. This is your time of Jubilee. 
at Jubilee time, they blew the trumpets. They celebrated because they said, our kids are coming home. Our, our bills are going to be paid. Uh, we're going to be out of debt. We're going to prosper. We're going to get a brand new start. Well, we need to start celebrating, my friend, because Jesus Christ is alive. He's on the throne, and he's saying this day, not tomorrow, not next week, this day, the scripture is fulfilled in your hearing and in your sight. Come on. So we celebrate the fact that it's time for miracles today. And the whole reason that I want to share this is that I can come into agreement with you. The Bible says, if any two agree is touching anything on earth, it shall be done. I'm speaking to many of you who've been waiting and saying, God, when, when? And I believe Jesus is saying today, this day, this day, this is going to be fulfilled. This day is Jubilee time. So in the name of Jesus, I come into agreement. I join my faith with yours. And we decree Jubilee over you and over your household. That your children and your grandchildren are coming back. That not one of them will be lost. That your marriage is going to be restored. That your finances are going to be restored. We celebrate Jubilee time now that you will move into a season of breakthrough and miracles. This is great news. It's wonderful news. And we've got reason to celebrate. And so we rejoice today. We just look to him who is our Jubilee. God bless you. You're going to have a great day. And this is the beginning of a new season for you. Amen and amen.